want to take, it's like, no, I want to take this part out. Rumble me. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Today, I decided to do a Saturday reset because I haven't done one in a while. And I also decided to do something that I never do. I cooked. Ooh, yes, your girl cooked some shrimp Alfredo. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Faye. My channel is all things lifestyle, family affairs, cleaning, DIY projects, fashion, decor, anything about elevation, you name it, is on this page. So if that's the type of content that you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you could become part of this family. For my returning subscribers, I want to say thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Y'all the goats. Y'all already know how I feel about y'all. So we're going to get right into this video, okay? So, whenever you're doing a Saturday reset, you have to wash them sheets. And when you use white sheets, they be looking so dingy, y'all. They just be looking so dingy. So, I had to start off with washing my sheets and just doing like a quick little vacuum in my room. The room wasn't dirty, but it just needed some love, some TLC. So, that's what you see me doing right now. So y'all, what I do for my cash stuffing is I take four inserts that you would use inside of a photo album. I take four of them. It's four on each side. So that means that it will be eight inserts. So eight times four is 32. So that gives me enough for the month. And then I just so like fold them like this. But I'm going to make it a little different today so that I can have an actual book. And I won't have to have these like all over the place. So I'm getting ready to like put it together and I'll show y'all how I put it together if I'm done. Okay. 
here is the book after it's done. I just listed some examples that you can save up monthly on a 30-day basis. Um, the first time I did this, I saved $33 a month and it equaled out to $1,000 a month. I did that in November and I wasn't able to do it again. So now I'm just restarting back over in March. And so I decided to do $20 a month. So that's what you can see here. We are on day seven, I believe. Where's my other? So one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why it's in there like that. So at the end of this month, I will probably have $600 if I continue to cash stuff. Here is another thing I want to show you guys what I do for my budgeting. I have all of my subscriptions that come out. They are um over here. Those are my subscriptions and my bills are on this side. I covered this up for privacy. But yeah, so it's like for week one, I have everything that comes out in terms of subscriptions. And then this is my bills over here. And then I have week two subscriptions, bills. Week three subscriptions and bills. Week four subscriptions and bills. So that helps me know what I have coming out. So y'all, I have been using that particular system of writing down my monthly budget for about two years and it does work really well for me. It has been working really well for me. Um, I used to get hit with like a lot of overdraft fees and stuff like that. So now that doesn't happen because I do, I check it weekly and I see what I have coming out. So I would definitely recommend that if you um you know if you have a lot of bills coming out subscriptions coming out that you do a monthly budget even if you don't have a lot of subscriptions coming out do a monthly budget that helps you you know know every month this is what i'm going to have to pay so it's not a surprise when things start coming out you feel me Give me some, um, I mean, Alexa, Alexa, give me some Alfredo recipes. Finding some Alfredo recipes. Okay, for Alfredo, here's a few recipes. Broccoli and shrimp Alfredo. I want broccoli and Alfredo. Does somebody call it twist? Yeah, you almost here? Uh, alright, alright. <laughs> Yo, I forgot I don't have no butter. 
I don't think can I use cooking oil for the butter. Let me see. I'm gonna turn this oven on.
want an honest, your honest opinion on it. Because what don't I use enough of when I cook? I don't use enough seasoning. Stop. It's hot, so be careful. But I was thinking maybe y'all could just like put a little bit of obey over top of y'all. Stop. Dry a little bit. Dry. 
Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though? When it be yeah. like, why is it that? Bye-bye.